Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here. Welcome to Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. Now you might ask yourself, what is this game? And if the title didn't tell you, it's a game about Quidditch. This is... this was one of the first games I got as a kid. And um, it's basically... I, I, just, I love it, okay? You start out at Hogwarts playing with like the four different houses and after a while you can work your way to the World Cup where you can play with well, obviously different international teams and you can also get like special moves once you collect cards and you have like card collections of all the houses and World Cup. There's just so much to be done here. Look at this. And all of these countries have like a challenge of their own, like beat Spain of a Spanish stadium, beat Spain at player's ground, score 12 goals in a match. That's how you get the team special move. Oh. I'm super pumped to show this game to you. I was originally going to play this on the PS2, but I found out that it, that is actually on the PC, which makes my job a lot easier since I can just use a controller. So, without further ado, let us jump into this and let's go to Hogwarts. Welcome to Hogwarts. Now that you're here, you can choose which of the four house teams you'd like to take through to the Quidditch Cup. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff or Slytherin. Once you've chosen a team, you can guide them through a series of house challenges. And if you're successful in these challenges, then your team should have enough skills to compete in the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup. Who knows, you might even win it. Over to you, Wood. Right. I just love Harry's voice when he said Slytherin. No. Quidditch is easy enough to understand. There are seven players on each side. Three of them are called chasers. This ball's called the Quaffle. The chasers throw the Quaffle to each other and try to get it through one of the hoops to score a goal. Ten points every time the Quaffle goes through one of the hoops. Now, there's another player on each side who's called the Keeper. I'm Keeper for Gryffindor. I have to fly around our hoops and stop the other team from scoring. Stand back. And a bludger. Mean old ball. The bludgers walk around trying to knock players off their brooms. That's why you have two beaters on each team. It's their job to protect their side from the bludgers and try to knock him towards the other team. Nice catch. Yeah, this intro won't take long, don't worry about it. To sum up so far, three chasers try and score with the quaffle. The keeper guards the goalposts. The beaters keep the bludgers away from their team. Now the last member of the team is the seeker, who doesn't have to worry about the quaffle or the bludgers. This is the golden snitch, and it's the most important ball of the lot. It's very hard to catch because it's so fast and difficult to see. It's the Seeker's job to weave in and out of the Chasers, Beaters, Bludgers and Quaffle to catch the Snitch before the other team's Seeker. Because whichever Seeker catches the Snitch wins his team an extra 150 points, so they nearly always win. A game of Quidditch only ends when the Snitch is caught. Any questions? I get it. No? Good. Thanks, Oliver. Oh, and one other thing before you choose your house team. If the team you select does manage to win the Hogwarts Quidditch Cup, you'll be awarded a ticket to this year's Quidditch World Cup. If you win the ticket, you'll be able to choose an international team to support right through the tournament, hopefully to the World Cup final. Okay, so if you'd like to choose your house team, we can start to play Quidditch. I haven't really decided how much of a completionist I'm gonna be here, because as you can see we got four teams, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw. Now my personal favorite team is Ravenclaw because they, their team move is the best team move in the entire game. Which is kind of weird. But I just, I've always liked Ravenclaw so I might actually play as them so we'll see how many of the others we choose to do as well. Welcome to the Ravenclaw Quidditch team. Before we play our first match we've got to improve your skills with some training. Let's go meet the rest of the squad. Alright Cho Chang. That's her name right? I'm not trying to be racist, I just, that's her name. It's something like that. <laughs> Basically, we got all these house challenges like passing, tackle and shooting, being the seeker. 
So we gotta work our way through the challenges, get a decent time, get some cards along the way, then we can compete in the Hogwarts House Cup. So let's get down to it. Jeremy Stretton here, chaser for Ravenclaw. Get ready to learn about passing the quaffle. And I'm very rusty. I've not played this for years and years. I just tried it a little bit to make sure that the controller worked. So there we go. This challenge is all about passing the quaffle. Your three chasers will be flying in a V-shaped formation, and between each chaser, you'll see a magical ring. These rings will cycle between yellow and green. The chasers must pass the quaffle back and forth through the rings while they are green. Missing a ring or passing the quaffle through a yellow ring will cause that ring to turn red, and a time penalty will be incurred. Ah, this is not going too well. Pass the quaffle, press the action button. I have not done this for years, but like the, the, the passing system feels really good. It's really fun to throw it around. Fantastic! We've won some new Quidditch cards. Ah, we got two new cards. Uh, can I do a replay? Let's try that. It's really weird because you gotta press like the triangle button to confirm stuff, and that's usually like the back away button, but... I know that. Whew. Alright. Go. <laughs> nice. Go. Go. No! Why would you throw it there? God damn it. <laughs> oh, that was a green one. No, yellow one. Got it? Go. Alright, that's a much better time. School record beaten? Well, okay, I'll I'll take that. Let's save and continue. Let's save here. All right, good stuff. Quidditch World Cup. Oh. That's wonderful. We've won our first Quidditch card. The more cards we win, the more our team will be able to do. These cards will open up all sorts of other things too. You can take. Oh yeah. She was gonna say that we can look at them in the inventory, which we can. How does this one look? School record. Yeah, not too bad. All right, tackle and shoot. Roger Davies, Ravenclaw chaser. All about tackling and shooting on goal. Coming up. All right, let let's let's try this. I can't really remember. It's it says PC controls, but I'm gonna play with the controller because I'm not this stupid. This is a one-on-one -on -one challenge between one of your chasers and a ghost. Edgar Cloggs is the ghost in question, and he's been hanging around the Quidditch pitch for as long as anyone can remember. Edgar was obviously an extremely proficient Quidditch player in his day, and he's going to be flying around the pitch with the crop, trying to avoid your chaser. The uh -huh. end of the challenge is to tackle Edgar, take the quaffle from him, and throw it into one of the goal hoops. Edgar will not only try to stop your chasers from gaining the quaffle, but he'll also try to stop them from scoring. Okay, okay, I'm trying to learn the controllers here. Just a quick reminder. Press the action button to tackle and the shoot button when you're in range of the goal hoops. Good luck. Because they just they say the shoot button and I'm like, which button is the shoot button? But it seems like it's actually square. No, I mean circle. Alright. This is gonna be a bad time. But yeah, I wanna try and get a decent time on these. Yeah. Cause I mean when we enter the World Cup. It's not gonna be any fooling around. Whew. God damn it! Ghosts! I'm losing to dead people. It's a bad sign. Gotcha! A new Quidditch card? Well done! Team record beaten? That's not good enough. I feel like we should replay that one. Just so we can get a bit of a better time. I really want to get to like the main, uh, the main tournaments against one -on -one the other houses, but I didn't even know what the tackle button was, so maybe this is a good thing. Just a quick reminder: press the action button to tackle and the shoot button when you're in range of the goal hoops. I know. Oh yeah, gotcha. Alright, bring it on. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh. I was waiting for him to come up because I was gonna fool him and shoot somewhere else, but I guess not. Come on. Come on, Mr. Ghost. Gotcha. Come on, can we do it? School record, school record, school record. Here. 30 seconds. Great work. A new 
match card. That was a house record beaten. Still not the school record. I do want the school record. Alright, I'm gonna try it one more time. I decided not to have face cam on this series, I just think it's too distracting because there's already a lot going on on the screen, so I'm like, let's just stick with that. Come on! Give me. I gotta do every one of these in under 10 seconds. That was 10 seconds flat. Give me that. Alright, good. And I lost. Come on. Oh, god damn it! Ah, 0.2 seconds. I swear, if if I can get it under 30 seconds, I got the school record on. Oh, I press save and continue. We can always return to that one later, because we can actually upgrade our brooms in this game, so... We can perhaps do it once we're better at this. Alright, Seeker time. Hello there, I'm Cho Chan, Seeker for Ravenclaw. Let's learn about being a Seeker. Alright. You got it. So you kind of switch roles between being the uh, the chasers and then the seeker once the snitch comes out on the field. A golden snitchet has escaped from a snitchet reservation, and because I'm a seeker, I've been asked to catch it. This is a wonderful opportunity to learn about slipstreaming and boosting when playing in a real match, and Madam Hoot just kindly agreed to help us out. Ooh. Ooh. Use the action button to give yourself a speed boost, and when you're close enough, grab that Got it. Alright, how do we do? School record beaten. <laughs> Done. Alright, so catching that one is not too hard, just stay on it as best as you can. I do want to try and get school record on all of these uh, standard challenges, though. Oh, this has been so long, I remember well so much done. about this. Oh. Now you've completed your first three house challenges, you can play a real Quidditch match. Only the team with the most points wins the Quidditch Cup. Remember, from here you can replay any Hogwarts house team to better your score. Okay, so here's the challenges versus Hufflepuff, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. Alright, let me just check the uh, the challenges once again. Before we go into this, can I play these challenges now? It's locked. Three challenges and your first Quidditch match, then you can select me. Oh, so I have to be even better before I can take him. What's the school record? 27. That's going to be a hard one to uh, to take. So I think we're going to have our first match against Hufflepuff. So you'd like a match with Hufflepuff, would you? Let's play for the Quidditch Cup and may the best team win. Yeah, sure, nerd. I'm a Hufflepuff myself. I've taken a lot of those tests, so... I don't want to be a Hufflepuff, they're lame. Here we go. Mine! And... Scores! Hufflepuff, you ain't nothing. Oh. Mine. And to the ball. To the, to the goal, I was about to say goal in a region. It might be winter. It does not stop the, the, the raven claws. We are ravens of the night and ravens of. Oh! How dare you! Good! Oh no, 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 you're not. Yeah. Boom! So, even if you get a really high score, catching the snitch gives the team uh, 150 points, so you could still lose if the other team catches it. And. These people are pretty bad at playing Quidditch, needless to say. But it gets more difficult when we play against stuff like, uh, teams like Gryffindor. 
I can't really remember what progresses this game or how the snitch will uh, come to us faster. I think you gotta do like awesome stuff. I'm, I'm just not sure. It's my first time playing it again, so... We seem to be doing okay, because, I mean, nobody wants to be in Hufflepuff, so... These people are all <laughs> super depressed, like, I hate my house, whatever. Well, I thought only the Keeper could catch it, I guess not. That's how we roll, look at my haircut, I got it this morning. The music is just excellent. Everything about this game is awesome. I, I, I don't know what team I want to pick like in the in the World Cup though. I would pick Norway if they had Norway, but they've kind of taken Scandinavia and made Scandinavia into one country, so... I'll have to see about that. But it's definitely going to be interesting. Score. Holy hell. Yeah, so if a lot of these matches don't really end up being very exciting, like this one where I just kind of repeatedly steal it from them, then I will uh, probably just not... I will, I will probably just edit it. Because I, I tend to do that in my videos. I just want to show a full match first. We don't really have a lot of bludgers and stuff in action yet. So it's going to be interesting to see how that's going to be. If that's another game mechanic. So I see that like the other team have like that Quidditch ball even closer to their sides. I don't know how they did that. They must do some sort of trick that I haven't really learned yet. Yeah. That keeper, what is he doing? He's so lazy. He's like, oh, I don't, I don't really want to catch it. I got better stuff to do. I mean, look at this. Is he even drawing? That's what I want to know. Oh, I think we get it from uh, from passing to each other. Yeah, that's what makes the ball come. So if we do do a few passes before we shoot, don't ask me why I shot it to him. Oh, oh yeah, nice. So I think it's all about doing nice combos and getting stuff that looks really cool. I really want to show you the Ravenclaw special team move though. So. Like, the special team moves makes you able to score a few goals in, a, like, a cinematic. So, Houses like Gryffindor scores one goal, uh, Hufflepuff and Slytherin scores two, but Ravenclaw actually scores three goals using their special team move. I don't even think teams in the World Cup do that, but I could be wrong, of course. Oh, no. Alright, let's have a little passing round now. Because the more we pass, the closer we get. Boom. So once the two golden thingies hit in the center, that's when we uh, get to meet the uh, meet the snitch. Boom. So the more we charge it, the faster it goes. Yeah, I love my team. I love the Ravenclaws, man. Bum 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 ba da bum 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 Come on, bring it on. Yeah! That's how we roll. So we can also buy these special moves after a while. So once we learn how to m m learn... Once we learn how to learn them, <laughs> things are gonna be awesome. Especially when we get better broomsticks. Yeah! Oh, the snitch is soon here. It's getting close. So close. So close. Pass. Team special move. How do I activate that? Wait, let me try. How do I activate the special move? I have to like, hold down a few set of buttons. No, wait. I can't remember how to do the team special move. So sadly, I, I couldn't show it to you. Oh. And as you can see, we don't really have a lot of turbo. Got it. Nobody can beat Cho Chang. Seeker numero uno. That was a good match. You suck, Hufflepuff. 
You really, really suck. Six Quidditch cards won. New challenges unlocked. 380 points. That's not bad. Yeah. I'm pretty happy about that one. We'll save and continue. We should probably have a look at the cards just to kind of understand how they all work. Now I think we've unlocked... At the moment, Ravenclaw is at the top of the league. Well, I'm not... I'm not surprised. Gryffindor lost to Slytherin? Wow. It's not good. I'm disappointed in you. Now I think we got some new challenges. Beaters and Bludgers. Yes, we do. First, I just want to check this out, so... Okay, so... Combo left, combo right, double tap. Action? How? Like... What's combo right? It's like moving left and right and then action? There are a lot of things that I need to understand here. Ravenclaw, let's open up here. Chasers. Wow. Nice. Tackle and shoot. School record. Yeah, we'll get there. Team record. Win by 100 points. In match number two. Okay. Actually, let me check out the, uh, the special... Uh, Team special move, yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. All right, let, let's let's head back out. What's the remember all? I don't really know. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Let's try beaters and bludgers. My name's Duncan Ingleby. Jason Samuels and I are the Ravenclaw beaters. Being a beater is the best. Let's go learn about bludgers. Sounds really dirty. Being a beater. Mm. Okay, I don't know what what is for. You, you could... All right, I'm gonna try square. You'll be learning how to defend against bludgers. One of your chasers, flanked by two beaters, will be searching for targets throughout the grounds. What the beaters have to do is hit a bludger at each of the targets. It sounds simple enough, except that once the bludger has hit a target. It will rebound and pursue the chaser relentlessly until the beaters can bat it away. Oh. Ah! Help! Help! Alright, so... This means that I can knock up people out of the air if I want to, but I also have to avoid the bludger once it actually comes back to get me. Alright, that's pretty cool. That's gonna definitely add a new element to the Quidditch, I think. Alright, so... I'm gonna try and go for a record here if possible. Shoot! <sighs> Gotta avoid the bludger. Bludger incoming! Ugh. That's how we roll. Final one, guys. Prepare a bludger. Fire! I really love the exterior... Uh, scene of Hogwarts here is taken straight from the Philosopher's Stone game on the PS2. That's so good. Fantastic. We've won some new Quidditch cards. Yay! Okay, so I did the house record, but uh, I didn't do the uh, the school record. Alright, I just want to try that one more time. Get a bit more familiar and try to go for the school record. If not, we can always get back later when we have a proper broom. Yes, Cho Chang. Thank you, Cho Chang. You're very useful. Just gonna hide with my uh, beaters. <laughs> Alright, good. Let me just circle around. And then we do. Pirate Will! I don't actually mean that you should fire at a guy named Will, but that could work too! Okay. Damn, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it now. I got hit by the bludger. It's not good. And let's shoot this one. Boom. Da -da. All right. Work. Well done. Yeah, nothing new there. I think we're just gonna continue. 
I could go back for the school record later. I am a perfectionist though, and this game kind of um, makes you want to be a perfectionist because of all these special things you get and all the cards. So it's it's definitely going to be interesting to see what kind of stuff we can get here. What are you? Special moves, yes. I'm Randolph Burr, Ravenclaw Chaser. Get ready to learn to dodge and how to make effective special move tackles. This is what I want to know, because I don't think I ever did this correctly when I was a kid. Alright, shoot special. Okay. This is a one on one challenge between one of your chasers and our ghostly friend, Edgar Plogs. Edgar's going to try and take the profit from your chaser and prevent them from scoring a goal. Edgar's in a particularly troublesome mood, and your chaser needs to employ the dodge to avoid it. Oh, so I can actually. Edgar's an expert at the special move tackle, which means it's going to be very difficult for your chaser to keep hold of the profit long enough to score. That's really cool, I can tackle people! Press and hold the special move button and steer the target over Edgar. Release the button to tackle, and use the dodge button to avoid him, and the shoot button once you're in range of the gold hoops. Oh! Okay, so... Wait. Oh, what is... What was that? I was like sending out some... Guess I have to be honest, I still don't completely get it. That's fantastic! We've won some new Quidditch cards! How was that the house record? That was so bad! Okay, I didn't really understand the whole concept here, so I think I'm gonna replay this. Because uh, I'd seem to do sort of random special moves. This is a one -on -one challenge. All right. Uh, oh, that was a close one. Yeah, just shut up, Cho Chang. Nobody cares. Gotcha. Come on, you filthy ghost! Ah. Uh. Okay, so that's what I can do. I can use it to kind of stun people. Ah, uh, what about that one? What? Didn't I do an... I guess I didn't do enough special moves. Okay. I'm gonna try it once more. And I guess I need to use the, 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 the thingies. <laughs> this is weird. Okay, so... I need to avoid yeah steer the target over Edgar release the button to tackle use the dodge button to avoid him and the shoot button once you're in range of the gold give me that one spooky come on give me that thank you all right, so that works. Thirty-two seconds. Well done. Was that the school record? Oh, indeed. All right, let's move on. I probably shouldn't save for every time I do this. I'll stop doing that after this. New game, new flow, new stuff you gotta learn and get used to. But I'm, I'm definitely pumped to do this. It's definitely on my list of games. I select special moves in inventory to view all the moves you have unlocked so far. Press. Beater plus shoot within the scoring zone. What's beater? Special move shots. I don't know what that means. All right, let's try Slytherin now. Whatever, Draco. Nobody likes you. Okay, so. You, I guess you can do like special moves with. Uh, we'll see. Dun, 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 dun. Yay, it's summer! Everybody's happy! Cho Chang versus Draco Malfoy. <laughs> and hiccups. Dun, 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 dun. Mine. 
Go. Go. Yeah. Okay, so their keeper is a bit faster, but... Yeah, look at that Ravenclaw swag. They can't touch us. Yeah. Go. Oh, yeah. 20 lead. We can't possibly stop now. Dun, 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 dun. I'm trying to do these special move thingies, but I don't really know how to activate them. Because I have that symbol that I've never ever seen before there, but... Oh, that's what it does. It's a, it's a speed boost. It's a dodge speed boost. Okay, so I, I get that one now. Sure. Try getting that one, noob. Okay, we're, we're gonna win the World Cup here. I mean, no, nothing's gonna stop us now. Not even Bulgaria. The most dangerous team. Oh, now I gotta now I gotta blood your backup. That's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna try sending a bludger on this guy. Okay. Ah, uh, oops. Oh snap! Help me! That's how we do it. And <gasps> no, you don't. Yeah. All right, next Slytherin. It's gonna get it. Fire! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's what you get for being a kid enjoying a sport, you noob. Who would play Quidditch? Seriously, it's dangerous. I know other sports are as well, but this is a whole new dimension. Dun, dun. Okay, so he has a special move now. Let's see if I can figure out how to use that. Alright, maybe it's the ring that I got. Yeah, it is. <gasps> oh! Oh, that was cool! Oh, okay! So it in in initiates a little cutscene. Oh, yeah, I'm, go I'm gonna be digging this. Now we get some variation here. That's what I like. <sighs> Don't think so. Yeah! We got a boost we can use now. Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Bring it on, noobs. There he comes! Bludger time, baby! Inception? Whoa! Awesome. Rum. Come at me. They have barely used any of their special abilities here. Dun 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 dun. Oh, snap! Nice one. It's just to hide behind your beaters. Ain't too hard. We should probably pass more though to summon the snitch faster. <laughs> Team special move. How do I do that? Alright. I gotta figure out how to do the team special move, you know? I'm trying to hold down all the buttons on my controller, but I can't really... I don't know how to... Yeah, yeah, hurrah! Okay. How do we... Come on. Special move. Should have taught me that. I think it's just a matter of holding down the right buttons. Like, what if we press all the buttons at once? Come on. Uh, why can I not remember this? I need to see the team special move.
I think I have to be in front of the goal for it to actually work. Like, what? I have to press something. I can't check the control scheme either. God, that's, that kind of sucks. Alright, let's just focus on winning with a lot of points. And it looks like we're already going to do that, so... That's good. They need to teach us about... They... they okay. Yeah! Alright, I'm gonna try some more now. Oh, snap. I... Damn it. I think it's holding down a button and then pressing square, so it's like R1. No, that's not it. Come on. Why can I not remember? Oh well. I'll have to try and look it up then. Give me that ball. Yeah. I don't think so. Take a bludger to the face, boy. That's right. Ravenclaw power. Needs to be a button that I would not expect. I just... I know, I know I can... Oh! Hmm... I want to show this to you so badly, you have no idea. Oh snap, I don't want to let him score though. There's a snitch! So the more the snitch thingy is on your side, the more boost you can get here. So basically, indicates whether or not you're gonna win. Uh, I'm trying. Yep. I'm gonna build some turbo. Come on. I don't need to build it up. Yeah. Got it. Great work. Ravenclaw wins. Yay. Oh, God. How do you do the team special moves? I just can't remember. It's, it's, it's just how it is. <laughs> at the top. Yeah, I'm not surprised actually. We've been doing quite well for ourselves. Okay, what's this? This is combos. Let me just check something. Let's go to the inventory. Probably not here. Combo left. I don't know what combo left means. It's not. Oh, maybe it is. Okay. Controller configuration. Team special move. Okay, so I set it to be R1. I think it was set to a button that did not exist on my controller. So now that we got that done, we can try that out during the next round. But now. Name's Grant Page, Ravenclaw Keeper. Look lively. This challenge is all about passing and scoring. It's combo time. Com I don't even know what combo combo passes. This challenge is all about using combination moves, combos. Controlling your chases, you need to direct one or more combo passes into the scoring. You'll then need to pull off a volley shot to score a goal. 
I'll be there trying to stop you. If you fail to perform a volley shot, or I save your attempt, there'll be a time penalty. But if you're successful three times, you might just get that school record for Ravenclaw. Cho here. Use the action button together with one or both of the combo buttons to perform a combo pass. Use the broomstick control to direct them. Once in range, use the shoot button together with the combo buttons to launch a special shot. No, I don't actually get it, to be honest. We'll need more effort from you, I'm afraid. Try again. I How's that a combo? What? I do How is this a combo at all? I guess I have to hold- Oh! <laughs> Holy snap, what's going on? What are they doing? They're going crazy! New! <laughs> okay, now that's how you do the com- What is this? <laughs> oh god, that was worth figuring out. Look at this. <laughs> come at me, bro. Let me see what you- Aww. <laughs> that was still fun. That was still fun. A lot more effort is required. Have another go. Okay, Cho Chang, since you asked so nicely. Okay, so... This challenge is all about using okay, I gotta try some different buttons as well. Cho here. Use the action button together with one or both of the combo buttons to perform a combo pass. Use the broomstick control to direct them. Once in range, use the shoot button together with the combo buttons to launch a special shot. Holy crap! That was a nice one. Alright, go. Let's go, team. Go, go, Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw. Go, go, Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw. Go! No! God damn it. Alright. Great work! A new Quidditch card! I think I beat the team record. Yeah, we, we gotta play that one again. So basically, I hold down the L1 button, or like the, the left trigger, before I pass it. And that, that makes a combo. Yeah. Cho here. Use the action button together with one or both of the combo buttons to perform a combo pass. And I gotta get close enough to the goal so I can do something like... I, th I think I can also shoot like this. Let me. S okay, so I gotta pause it and then I'm gonna try going for a combo shoot. That's what I wanna. That's what I wanna achieve the most. No, that keeps happening. Let me try again. Oh, that was a nice one. You never saw that one coming. Alright, that was a school record. Nice. Ooh. Good. The combo buttons can be used with the dodge, shoot, and action buttons. Using these combinations can give you a big advantage. Alright, I'll 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 remember that and let's try going against Gryffindor. Ready for a match against Gryffindor, eh? Let's play for the Quidditch Cup. Oh, I wish Harry would just be a douche and be like, hey, screw you, you're gonna die. That would be funny. Alright. Lee Jordan commentating live from a packed stadium here at Hogwarts. My most excellent friend and amateur Quidditch expert, Seamus Finnegan, joined me for today's game between Ravenclaw and Gryffindor. Thanks, Lee. I'm really looking forward to today's match. Madam Hurst is referee the match today. Let's rock and roll, Harry. Dun, dun, dun. Do, 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 do. Let's go. Cho versus Harry. This is gonna be kinky stuff. Yeah. Bring it on, nooblings. No! Damn you! Filthy Gryffindor scum. No! God damn it! 
I can't, I can't just play around it seems, sadly. I'm just gonna show them who's the boss. Dun, 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 dun. Nice. I always do. You think they're gonna get away from me? Don't think so. Damn it! Yeah, there we go. Got the beater if needed. It's still kind of hard to do the uh, the one where you uh, smack it into the goal, like a combo uh, score. But I'm gonna get better at it. There we go. And that's what I call a good one. I think we got the team special move. All right, I gotta try this. Oh, check this out. This is just so sick. One, two, three! That's how the Ravenclaws work, and that's why I love Ravenclaw. Such a badass move. Get over here! Oh god, why haven't I played this game before? I mean earlier. I mean, I have played it. Oh snap. Check out that speed on the broom, that's what I'm talking about. Whoa. Uh, I keep trying for combos and I forget that there's actually baddies around. I'll just go for a simple goal. But as you can see, we now have total control over the uh, over the snitch, so we're gonna get the, the best boost here. and. Most certainly win because we are doing a lot of combos and we're just we're stealing the glory here. That's important. Screw you. I'm gonna let the bludger handle this. You dare interrupt the Ravenclaw ritual? No. I go for a simple shot there. And straight in. Uh, you keep stealing it from me, you noob. Nice. Look, they're all impressed. Not doing too shabby. Oh, dun 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 dun. <laughs> You think you're gonna get far? Think again. Boom. Uh oh. No! The goddamn Weasleys are after me! <laughs> uh. Get over here. Dun 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 And in. Don't think so, Angelina. Dun, dun. Come on. Dude. Oh, that's how we rock and roll. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for them. Poor girls. About to get their faces kicked in. Oh, bam. Oh, bam. Oh. Bam. Yes, bum, 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 bum. That even resets their own uh, snitch boost. Oh, I feel almost bad for Gryffindor. They're just getting pounded. This is a clear victory. A ghost only men of great virtue and valor. Yeah. Well. Just try bringing it on. I know you Gryffindors ain't got crap on me. Doo -doo -doo. 
I want to see how the World Cup works, though. I think it's, uh... I think it's similar to uh, the Hogwarts Cup, but I just want to see all the new locations, all the new teams, special moves. And I think the snitch is about to come. Boom. Yeah. And... There it is. Check out that boost. <laughs> Try competing now. Cho Chang powers. Activate! Oh well. That's how we roll. Most badass seeker ever. It is with great pleasure that I award this year's Quidditch Cup to Ravenclaw and to those of you who will be attending this year's Quidditch World Cup. Have a wonderful time and don't eat too many fizzing whizbees. <laughs> And that's the story of how Ravenclaw won the World Cup. Pretty badass. Let's save and continue, because I think this is going to be the last objective of... ...of today. <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty proud of, I'm proud of the progress today. League standing, quite nice. But now... Here's the World Cup. We can choose between England, USA, Japan... Germany, France, Australia, the Nordic team, Spain, and Bulgaria. Now, Bulgaria is obviously the best one. Uh uh uh. And you need 65 cards, so. I'm always thinking about the Nordic team, simply because it would just fit where I'm from. I'm from Norway, so. We'll have to see about that. For now, we're gonna go a bit back, take a look at the wizard cards that we have accumulated in this episode. Dun dun. Oh, I'm so pumped to do this game. Ravenclaw. Quidditch Cup. Ooh. And they use the same graphics for the characters that I've seen in like one of my favorite Harry Potter games, so... Tackle and shoot school records. Alright. Final objective. Try and get it in tackle and shoot. I've become a bit better at that, so... Let's make some babies cry, or in this case, a ghost. So, what else we could do is that we could start off with the other teams and... ...do the exact same thing over. So if we ever get really far in this game and we just decide that, yes, let's try and go for all the cards or something ridiculous like that... ...that's always something we can do. Tackle and shoot. I don't care who you are, just go. I love that you can skip most of the little cutscene cinematic thingies in here, that's... That's always a very nice feature. A one -on -one I know it's a one-on-one -on -one challenge. One-on-one -on -one challenge with a dead guy. Hi Gimme. Thank you. Gotta be extremely fast if I want to do this. Yeah. Good. It's 27 seconds. Oh. Ugh. And 22.5. Well School record, ladies and gentlemen. I think that was quite good, and I think that... ...sums up the first episode of Harry Potter Quidditch World Cup. Join me in the next one as we take on a team and we go on the international level. There's plenty of stuff to be done, so, um... Well, I hope you hope me join me next time. My name is Whisper in the Dark. Have a still great day, take care and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. No, I don't want to go to Hogwarts. You actually, I... shh, shh. So many people talking to me here. <laughs> bye, bye.